Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to another recording of The Curse of Monkey Island. We are in a whole new act. We got into Act 4. Act 3 was fairly easy because all it really revolved around was going around the map and fighting pirates and learning the on seas version of sword battling. So that's not really much of a point and click adventure element. It's kind of a falling action side objective. Although it really couldn't be labeled as falling action either. Like if anything, the main gameplay loop of finding objects, interacting with people and, and doing all the standard point and click stuff is the falling action. So yeah, now, there's a weird pacing here where I guess the rising action would have been act one when we were shooting that cannon and trying to escape and then the falling action would have been the super 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 long act two um which that that's a weird way to phrase that certainly and that's probably not the right way to go with this so these are pirates mutineered on us um so, in standard fashion, we're just going to grab everything. That there hand lotion be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. So these people are going to repair the ship that was mine that's crashed. And then they're going to take off and mutineer. Uh, they're not going to listen to me. It seems, with the exception of the lotion, though, this is the only other thing is the seawater. Which we can look at this bottle. It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. So they were barbers before. We have to kind of re re reinvent it. So are we on Blood Island or are we on Monkey Island? And let's talk a little bit about linearity here. Why in this first transition are we not just forced to go where we should go. This frankly looks a lot like Monkey Island to me. Uh, that we somehow crashed on Monkey Island. Let's look at the sign and see. This looks different, but it wouldn't be a terrible thing in the third game of a series to come back to Monkey Island and find it completely Lost different. Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching hmm. excursions daily. All right, we've got an egg. Can we grab the egg? I can't reach it. Can we use this to grab I the egg? Can't use the skeleton arm with that. Um. So unless I'm supposed to throw a wooden nickel at it, wooden nickels. then I have no idea. It doesn't seem like the screen. There, let's grab some rocks. I don't need any rocks. Uh, we we'll probably need to put something on top of the rocks to stop the egg from crashing. It doesn't seem like the screen scrolls over to the left, which I'm fine with that. I, I think that keeps things a little bit cleaner and easier. Nope, it does scroll over to the left. So there is just a whole other section. Uh, I don't feel like that's really necessary. It probably would have been better just to have a sign po a, a transition Boy, point. It's windy up here. Alright, so let's see if we can take this lens. Luckily I don't need to adjust it. Let's see if we can take this I mirror. Don't have anything to replace it with. Do we have anything that would light this lighthouse? No, I don't think we do. And I don't know why we would need to. Uh, you can see a very different angle here. But very pointless as far as having us walk places to identify them when we should just know what our next goal is. Elaine was supposedly thrown um, as the gold statue, so she's probably somewhere around here. Looks like there's three separate... No, four separate exits in this transition area. That seems really bad. Like, there's one here, one here, one down here, one up here. Um, 
So this was probably Elaine's third mansion, if I was to guess. Or a restaurant. Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Goodsu presents High Explosive, the most intense showroom hmm. cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera, nightly at 7. That might be interesting to watch, but I suspect what that means is that it would be another cutscene that they would do for no reason. Barbecue. Uh, I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. So, it seems like we're probably going to have to do a voodoo spell in that pot. Or, or cook the same thing the no. voodoo lady was cooking. <sighs> yeah. A direct goal would be helpful. We've got some neon signs. Drink grog. It really is just the rethinking of, or, or a redoing of what has already been done in the previous two games. Like Pirate Story, you're gonna be on a ship. You're gonna. Zima, Madam Zima, Madam Zima, Madam hmm. Zima. Mistress of the ancient arts, hmm. of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool, you're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. So, she could easily have been our goal. If we went back to my idea of having a the voodoo lady's crystal ball and getting directions and hints from her at, at specified times, this would be a great time for her to say, go talk to Madame Zima. Or find Madame Zena, Zima. Uh, but I don't know what I, what to say to her, so why would I talk to her? Oh, oh. Turn down hmm. the lights, will you? Hmm. Can we grab some pickles? Nah, they go straight to my hips. I've got a portrait of Grog. It's a shameless ad for Grog. Hmm. And we can go in here, and I don't know what this is going to do do for us though like it is just like wander around and do whatever you want it doesn't even matter because you don't have a clue it's a door with a porthole in it for that nautical hmm. accent so can we open the door yes we can and here we have an old portrait of someone it's a bunch of old portraits of the van salad family who are the Van Salads? Why does he know that? Almost certainly that's because there was some bit of story that was supposed to happen before that point. Baron C. Lambert Chowdergoodsu. Or you could have said technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. You could have said that the Van Salads uh, was the name on the bottom label. Minerva Stroheim Goodsu, Baroness hmm. of Borscht. So there's a soup family that apparently stole this this restaurant. It's locked. Hmm. It's one of the guest rooms. It looks out onto the cemetery. Hmm. So it seems to me like what's going to happen leave it open. There's a peculiar odor in this hallway. Is we're going to have to prove that the soup family stole stole the salad family's fortune um but i have no idea why like just no clue i don't carry around other people's spit <laughs> anymore i've grown past that stage i think he did actually do that previously we'll take the cushion because obviously we'll need that with the egg but that doesn't help us any further. Here we have a wheel of cheese. I can't pick up that entire wheel of cheese. Here we have a big warp refrigerator magnet. Here we have a refrigerator. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Here we have a freezer. Yeah, I really don't want to know what's in there. Okay, is there anything else here? I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. 
Yeah, I don't know if these are just references to the ending of the second game. Hmm. I guess... Fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. So, we probably need to replace the light bulb on that. Oh, don't bother that! Hmm. Just make the pain stop, please. So he wants you to turn off the lights and probably put a light in the nacho chip maker to melt the cheese. I don't know how you would do that though because it doesn't seem like there's any light switch or anything. Do we really want to talk to this girl? I think we have to. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Even though the rumor, the, the, the alleged thing is that the Pirates of the Caribbean Disney movies were supposed to be Monkey Island movies, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, at the very least, went to different places and did different things somewhat. They kind of consistently got worse with each new sequel, as is true, but... Uh, uh, I guess we can ask about the Lost Ring. But they did something relatively different each time. Um, it wasn't just pirates the doing the same thing, chasing after the same girl. Uh, hmm. If you think about it the the main protagonist is captain jack sparrow in the pirates of caribbean movies he doesn't even really have a romantic interest for most of the movies uh and of the, he just has kind of past romantic interests i think that are mentioned or show up uh, but then it is the younger guy that's more of a straight man that's chasing after the girl in the first movie and she kind of stops being the damsel in distress pretty quickly that is somewhat in line with the first game it, it seemed pretty obvious that by the end of the first game that captain marley uh, elaine should not have been just the goal of the game and the person to chase after um, Guybrush Sleepwood should have some other motivations, and yet in in almost every game, that's exactly all he ever does. This gets repeated in the Deponia games, where the actual female interest is just named Goal, and the character you're playing is is chasing after her for the vast majority of all the 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 series of the Deponia games, and it really eventually just comes down straight to it that uh, that she 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 resents him for for not allowing her to be an empowered human being and instead just being a goal um, what you probably should have done and I'm sure they wouldn't have thought about this and sorry for just talking here but this is where the video game criticism actually comes in. They probably should have had Captain uh, Elaine, Governor Marley. Uh, they should have had her turn on, turn around and be an antagonist of some sort for the rest of the series. Uh, have her specifically throw Guybrush Threepwood in jail at the beginning of each game as he's still hopelessly in love with her uh, have have her rob him on several occasions have her try to be the best pirate and and just abuse guybrush regardless tell me my fortune tell me my fortune i do not think mm. you wish to hear there are i really don't want to hear a man is better off being ignorant oh but i'm already ignorant of so many mm. things i want to know my future no you are not meant to know I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. 
You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach <laughs> inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. <laughs> so, are you gonna tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so mind. she's not even going to tell me that my fortune. So that seemed fairly pointless. Uh, maybe she'll come back and tell me my fortune later, or maybe she's only supposed to be some kind of hint system for the easy version of this game, and uh, she's got nothing to say in the more difficult version of the game that we're playing. Suppose that could be the case. Uh, again, it just really feels very much like the the game would have been a lot better had he had a straight man with him it's locked. of some sort uh, that's the other thing you could have cer certainly done with Elaine is that she could have just been the person who has to follow you the whole time mm, to make sure no. you don't get yourself killed uh, you could put like a cursed cursed it's ring on her nature. that makes her makes her follow it there's a kind of interesting reference to a text adventure being dead text adventures being dead which they most certainly would have been by the time this this was out um, the good soup family crypt so yeah we're gonna go this it's way locked. at some point Hmm. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. Hmm. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. Remember in the first game there was this whole crypt and each of the three to five, I would say, tombstones had had some funny thing written on them. Uh, it seems like there's considerably less of that. Let's see. Now we're in... Some other area. Let's see if we can just grab things. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. Hmm. I always wanted one, but nah. Let's look at the crack between doors. I can't see anyone in there right now. Hmm. Let's see. What else can we interact with? Can we pick up the chimney? Mm, no. Can we look at the window? I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. Hmm. So this is probably a blind dog is the idea there. It's beginning to spell a word. What could it be? Rib roast? Hmm. Riboflavin? Hmm. Chisel and mallet. Just doing the standard thing of grabbing things. You really can't even do anything with them. You could look at them, but then you'd still just have to grab them. And they would just make the game a lot longer. Yeah. I suppose if if this was a case where Elaine was with you no. all the time, you could get a lot more interaction and better stories, uh, story and better dialogue. Uh, it's a smelly old dog. In a weird way, that's kind of how Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis is probably... The best point-and-click adventure that LucasArts ever made, by far. Um, and the Indiana Jones series is is just mm, thought no. through better as a game. If if even if I might say that the Ron Gilbert writing might be a little bit more entertaining and fun compared to the Indiana Jones mm, games, no. which are a little bit more straight adventures. Uh, they thought through a lot of things that simply just clearly aren't thought through in this. Alright. So, I mean, there's a whole thing I missed here. Elaine looks like she's alright. So, Hang on, honey! I'm going to get you out of this mess! So, yeah, you could have changed the story very little and instead you put the ring on her and instead of it turning her to gold it curses her to be uh, 
to follow you no matter what that would have then made it made you not have to solve the puzzle where you found her at where she'd been kidnapped and buried um, but she could have still been kidnapped uh, uh, and dragged away um, let's see if we had a thing it's a big whoop souvenir magnet hmm. so we can now make the bottle has a cork in it we can't if we got water we could make a compass finally we have a pen a pie pan and a magnet I don't know why we're specifically making a compass though they're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands hey a stump hmm. it would have been way better to to force you into the section first that ring is really stuck on her finger Hmm. I don't think she can hear me. Let's see. What else is in this area? They even kind of designed this area to, to point you in directions. Like, it probably is not a coincidence that you can see the lighthouse and the fireflies right next to each other. Uh, that, that almost certainly is intentional. So let's see. This and this. Cool, a magnetic pin. The so, boggles at the possibilities. Pie pan with seawater. This pie pan won't do any good there. So we need something else that. The bottle has a cork in it. Let's see. The bottle has a cork in it. We need a cork opener, I guess. Corkscrew. Unless we're supposed to use a chisel. I can't chisel. use the chisel with that. I can't use hmm. the chisel with that. All right, so we're still not to that point. There's this area, and then the strange lights. Let's double click and just walk here. Um, again, this feels like there's too much. Uh, just way, way too much uh, as far as locations. So let's see if we can open the door without getting hit by the windmill. Otherwise, I imagine we'd have to grab the windmill, climb up to this window. It's locked. All right. I can't hold on with my bare hands. So this. I can't use the skeleton arm with. Hmm. So we're gonna need paste. Maybe? I can't paste that. Hmm. Well, here's a pepper. Um, I There's guess we'll look at the barrel. The yep, looks like there's nothing here. Hmm. Let's look in the ocean just to make sure. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight locations on this island. That is quite a lot. Hmm. Now, arguably, the cartoony nature How of the aboriginal natives in the first game were potentially problematic like in modern day and even, so even when this came out uh, they may not show any natives or they may not show them as such re realistic uh, unrealistic stereotypes although basically depicting them in any way is going to offend almost any somebody well i haven't gotten any use for this fruit fruits and vegetables and then the idol mm, no uh, chafing dish. Mm, no. Hmm. So there's a figurehead. And there's a measuring cup. And then there's an auger. 
which I think an auger is something that, that would open that. That doesn't need to be augered. Nope. That doesn't need to be augered. It seems very much like we are going to be cooking something with these items. Alright. Let's look at the figurehead. It's Merton, bullheaded god of tiny silverware. Hmm. Can we grab it? Mm, no. Tined silverware. That feels like that should be pronounced tinned. But that phrase doesn't make any sense to me either way. So. Up we go. Nope, it's the same weird depiction. And I don't think it's terrible because they, they all do have kind of these weird fruit masks on them. Uh, but... Yeah, they probably had to fight a little bit even in 1997 to not just make them normal villagers. Hmm. Hmm. Remember, this was a game that at one point had uh, had a three-headed mm, no. monkey as a running gag. We've seen it mentioned, but we haven't done anything. You look familiar somehow. This is the same Perhaps villager. I look like a big lemon. Oh yeah. Hmm. But it's more than that. We've met before. Back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent controlled hmm. huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Hmm. Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. They always are. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. Cannibals. <laughs> like, I don't think I brush Street would ever know. Like... Some weird callbacks here, though. Like, several times they've referenced he can hold his breath underwater for ten minutes. Still, if you were to play the remaster of the game, you probably wouldn't even realize that you could have lose, lost the remaster or the original Monkey Island um, if you stayed underwater in one scene for ten minutes. Uh, we could say this, but let's just go with Cannibals? this. You say that like it's a bad thing. Hmm. Well, it's true, but we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No, hmm. no, we underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Hmm. So, what's really weird here is there hasn't actually been a cannibalistic, like, character in any story, in any media I can think of. Or that's like a native villager that's a cannibal in probably a good two or three decades yeah I, I can't think of anybody even propagating that probably false stereotype there are some small villages that practice cannibalism but not to any massive uh, amount and then you like Hannibal Lecter I guess is the only cannibal in in any story that I can even think about really um, I guess maybe it's just such an offensive thought or an offensive concept that it just doesn't get used meanwhile the rise of zombies in every form of media for probably the last five decades or so has been up and up and up and up and they I suppose are cannibalistic but uh, that's about it uh, I guess maybe Maybe that in the the Texas Chainsaw Ma Massacre and some of those horror movies has been some cannibals too, but yeah, you really don't see it, and you definitely don't see it in video games. A paradigm shift. Hmm. Don't say. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely hmm. cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was hmm. a time I would have eaten you, young guy like you. Not hmm. too much muscle. Hey. I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 40 
five minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. <laughs> Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Sounds like he can cook. I'm Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Threepwood. <laughs> Mighty pirate, yada yada yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? <laughs> oh no. Mount Acidophilus is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all powerful god of the volcano. The god mm. of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed <laughs> on this island, the volcano god was most upset, belching out smoke. Vomiting up lava? It was disgusting, really. And potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. Mm. But when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. Mm. The usual. Then one day, we tried Bree. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. So, Sherman is on a I'm probably going to have to fresh fruit, vegetables, get and some course, kind of milk for the protein so important to into the volcano. Hmm. Stand aside. I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific! Hmm. I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair! Hmm. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. So... Let's just ask when the ceremony begins and then say nice village you have. When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the Volcano God. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the Volcano God's digestion, we can't So, are they going to throw the humans. statue of Elaine so in there? So, we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like mm. a human, but it has a similar texture. So, what's the holdup? We saw the wheel of We're cheese earlier. Our featured guest. Who is your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all mm. part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. So, I need nice to be dressed Thanks. like that, like the it's not tribal much, guy. We call it home. We've been doing our best to capture hmm. the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have hmm. noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint! Hmm. Yes, we think so. It looks like these are probably repeats or jokes. I guess I can ask this question. Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a malathion based cologne. Very alluring. Thank like, you. How am I, how is somebody supposed to know what uh malathion I'll, uh, is? See you around. Like, I have no idea what that is. I assume it's probably some kind of insect repellent that may not even be used anymore. See if we can grab these ornament ornamental skulls. Mm, no. Okay. Sorted fruits and vegetables, and a block of tofu. Take the tofu. So there was some stuff there I missed. Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. That. No. I think I just kind of missed them. I don't think it really was a case of 
I couldn't pick him up earlier. That looks still. Like a mask. Okay, the mask. Now we kind of know what we're doing with that. It's already got two eyes and a mouth. We've now just got to figure out how to make a compass, but we don't really know why we're making a compass. And it's a statue of Myron, god of parsley and other garnishes. We need to. Let's see. We've been everywhere. Let's see. So, this measuring cup probably can get seawater. And I want to accomplish something before we wrap up this recording, but we certainly are not going to accomplish much. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Okay, so we need the cork. I don't want to pin that. Well, I can't pull the cork out with my hands. Hmm. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I don't want to cut that. Hmm. So I still need a corkscrew. That doesn't need to be augured. That doesn't need to be augured. Hmm. And maybe we're supposed to use this the map. map. Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. No, that's the, that's a different map. That's not the instructions. Hmm. Mallet. I can't use the mallet with that. I don't know why the mallet would do. I can't use the mallet with that. I can't use the mallet with that. Hmm. Gold tooth, maybe? Well, that doesn't need a gold tooth. They said there was butter in this. Maggoty. So, in theory, th that would also upset the lactose intolerant crowd. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to accomplish anything here. Let's see if we can push the ru rubber tree. I can't shake it hard enough with just my hands. Alright, let's see if we can hit it with the mallet. There we go. So we got the cushion and an egg. It's a big egg. So we have egg and pepper and a measuring cup full of water and a tofu mask and some questionable other items but I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing hmm and the fact that you have to double click and triple click to get to like this wheel cheese is a pain I can't pick up that we can go ahead and auger that doesn't that. need to be augered or maybe chisel that so we've got some unmelted hunk of nacho cheese with an egg and a pepper uh, clearly the cook together we'd have to be able to start a fire though so I don't know if there's a gag here with the fireflies and the um and the oven that or the barbecue that's out back there's another empty jar over here so it'd be funny if we could put that with that i can't use the measuring cup with that hmm well pickles Bartender recipe book. Let's see if we can grab the recipe book. There we go. So, rum Rogers surprise a barrel of rum, two flasks of rum, uh, one jigger of rum, three shots of rum, one tablespoon of vermouth, and cilantro. Um, is there a page turning mechanic? Yeah. 
I'm assuming that anything that just requires a lot of alcohol and cilantro is probably not the thing. Let's see, one part yellow bird beard's baby, which I believe was this, and then one part blue whale. Lemon tonic. So maybe this is how you make the the ability to spit. Why I need to spit, I don't know. Um, two egg whites. Looks like all of these things might actually work. But to make the swamp zombie, it seems like you'll have to make several previous recipes geez it seems like we're gonna have to uh, have to do everything here so if I could get the dog to bite me I guess um, or to bite the guy that's drunk on at the bartender then I could do this instructions so at least I kind of know what I, I'm supposed to do do not mix with alcohol before operating uh, rudders or other heavy machinery it causes extreme, extreme 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 drowsiness um, cirrhosis known signs dizziness nausea general, general unpleasant feeling death symptoms persist Treat with alcohol. Um, a flower larva to taste. Cilantro. Again, this page left intentionally blank. And yeah, that definitely feels like that is a huge oh, amount. Please stop touching things. Stop hmm. that racket. It's just a ton of stuff it looks like we're gonna have to do uh, without really a goal at all like we're looking for the diamond and certainly would have helped for her to say if you want to find this diamond you have to you'll have to do this thing or this thing or this thing or you'll have to set off the uh, set off the volcano you'll have to you'll have to make every th recipe in this book you'll have to uh, mix many elements together to find a solution the number of elements it seems like you're gonna do if you really are going to have to do like every single recipe because it recursively is needed to get to the swamp zombie uh, that's gonna be a ton of work and there really isn't a ton of items here so again it's questionable what your experience would be if you were playing on the easy mode instead of mega monkey mode because maybe you just put on the tofu mask and you don't have to do any of the cooking elements uh, that is something we certainly should do in the next recording though is just make sure we Pretend like we're the representative and get to the volcano because that almost certainly will give us one more element that's absolutely needed. Uh, but again, definitely having close to absolutely no breadcrumbing, no assistance whatsoever, no logic behind it. I like my point and click adventures to have some logic behind your actions um, at the very least in general. Uh, if you look at some of the other point and click adventure games I've played, the, the, I've certainly had some points where I've frustrated solving a s individual puzzle, but most of them do have some goal, whether it's in Deponia, where your goal is to actually save goal, or whether it's in Indiana Jones and your goal is pretty straightforward to get some, um, some mystical magical discovery um yeah there, there's something that you always know you're doing at least per chapter and per act for for it to be able to start an act 
and not even tell you is a problem. And you could have fixed that fairly easy because it could have just popped up a screen saying act for uh, how I saved Elaine Marley from cannibals or uh, act for defeat the cannibals. Um, anything that would give you just a general idea or it, it, even just saying find the the diamond that would have would have been helpful but a general instruction of find something in a point and click adventure is a pretty bad instruction because you kind of find things all over the place and you need to need to have a little bit more guidance uh, again it, it feels just poorly designed from a gameplay just perspective well we're 15 minutes over anyways that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me further there's a link to patreon or you can friend me on steam and get me a game off my wish list thank you for watching have a good evening